Lee Han is with Business Development at Terrasoft, and he's going to show us the modularity that Tesla is using on the Model S. And Han, you can take it from here. Yes, okay. Hello, everybody. So here we are in front of the Tesla Model Y. This is the Austin version. You can notice the giga casting here. So it's only one, one uh, big piece of giga casting. Is a U shape it. So the operator, so the operator can go inside, start uh, assembly the vehicle from uh, the inside and go toward the exterior. And then you will see, we will close the car at the end. So here we have already one, one nice part. So it's the coal, but it's also the water box. So there is two parts in one. So they eliminated complexity uh, with uh, uh, one part less on the vehicle. Okay, so here we have uh, the uh, cooling beam. Can I help you? Yes. We have the cooling beam. So So the, uh, the cooling beam is a, a beam with all the uh, elements, components for the cooling system, except the radiator. So you have uh, the accumulator, condenser, compressor, octa valve here. So this is a complete uh, cooling system and uh, is compressed in all, in all this beam. This beam is uh, uh, common on the different models of Tesla, so uh, they use exactly the same beam with a, a small modification from one uh, version to another. And uh, every modification that you do, for example, on the accumulator will be automatically transmitted to the rest of the models, okay? And one thing that you pointed out is all the bolts go in from the yes. top down. The, all the bolts here in this area from the top down are vertical. So it's easy for the operator to uh, put the, the bolts. And, and do you think that this could be done by robots in the future? Maybe, yes. So here we can have a, a Pocayoke uh, for, for the uh, AC uh, connections. So you cannot uh, uh, reverse the part. So it's always in the correct position. And for five uh, pipes, you only have two Fasteners. Sure thing. Poka Yoka means it can is designed to only go in one way. Yes, so exactly. So the operator, even if it's the first day of job, they cannot mix it up. Okay. So then we have the air filter here. So the filter is two parts, but again, you don't no need fastener to put these two parts. They just snap together. You just snap together. And uh, uh, if you notice, this part will lay on the cooling beam, so it will never f fall down. Okay. So the next part is the front frame. So again, the front frame you just put it on its uh, side. So you have a c shaped uh, part here that uh, can uh, keep and hold the uh, front frame. It holds it in place. From, so from, once you get yeah, it from, into from the module. slot, yes. they just stay there. Yes, exactly. And uh, just uh, to notice, the radiator is horizontal. It's not vertical. So efficiency compared to a thermal uh, vehicle is less but we know that we don't reach exactly the same temperature of the thermal vehicles. Here we are around maximum at 70 degrees. So this is enough. And also there is an aerodynamic effect that uh, because the air come here and go up on the windshield. So as long as you speed up the vehicles, you have a, a downforce uh, in the front of the vehicle to keep the stability of the vehicle. Fantastic. Okay, let's, take, let's see the rear. Yes, let, let's uh, the, oh, oh, just uh, one part. just one part of that is very important. The front because the radiator is horizontal. You have a lot of space here, and is a nice thing to give to the customer extra space for storage.
So how would this compare to the way traditional automakers put it together? Yes, because uh, uh, the idea of traditional automakers is uh, to uh, take out the thermal engine and put uh, electric system. Tesla is uh, because they don't have uh, this uh, legacy of uh, thermal engine. So they uh, just uh, uh, try to rethink how you, you uh, assembly and you uh, conceive the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And now the rear. The rear. Okay. And uh, same sort of thing, right? You've got yes. U shape. Exactly. You have a giga casting in the back, U shaped giga casting. So again, the operator can start from the inside, going, from, going out. You have uh, this uh, part, so giga casting is expensive part. So they try to use it at the maximum. So they put some uh, reference. So you can, in fact, install the insulation without any fastener. So it just, you just uh, fits right fits into place. In the place. You use form A to fit the shape of uh, the B part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, the same for this part. So you just snap in. Snap That's in. All. Yes. No fasteners. No fasteners. So the cable is aluminum cable, so uh, is uh, uh, lighter. But uh, the most important thing is that aluminum is much more cheaper than, uh, than cuprum. Copper. Copper, yeah. yes. And they also shaped yes. the wires so they fit right into the rear end. Exactly. There's no loose wires. It just no. goes exactly yes. where it's supposed to they, go. They look for rigidity. So tomorrow, if they need to automatize the operation, it will be easier. Do it with a robot. Yes, exactly. So another part. So this part, just to close. Snap fit. Snap fit. We have the uh, container here. So just put inside. The, the shape take care that uh, is aligned and uh, you put the four fastener and that's all. And again, the bolts come in from the top very easy yes, to do. Yes, exactly. And the same for the insulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Crash beam. So there is a, a also Pokayoke here. You save uh, one and two fasteners. So instead of three bolts or four oh, bolts, four bolts using you have three. three. Yes. But they Pokayoke it so it only yes. goes in the, the right you, way. I cannot reverse it. No. Okay, it will not fit. Okay, and that's also these are the only horizontal uh, bolts that we can find in, in the back. And then we don't have to put it on, but you have the rear fascia. That yes, we have the up. rear fascia. It's very light. You have only one connection here. And if you want, I can also put it on. And there you go, one person. Usually it takes two people, one on each side to do it. And that's all. Yeah. We have assembled the car. Okay, and show me this about the tail lights too, because that's pretty good. Ah, yes. So. The tail lights, again, you just feed it. You have two fasteners in the back here to keep the tail lights. But most importantly, here, the tail lights is coupled. Oh, let me cut this. So. It's coupled with the uh, tail light. So this is the, uh, the door. For, for, for the, the charging charge port, point, right? yes. So is a, there is an actuator that's okay. Yeah, but you were saying too that this this little door yes. is black because it blends right in with the tail light. Yes, so it does exactly. not have to be body color. Everyone can yes, use the same. Yes, exactly, black. exactly. So they look it for this position for the charging port to couple the the opening with the tail lights. So only one. Uh, part so complexity reduction again so the overall lesson of this han what would you say it is of how tesla has designed this so they are looking for complexity reduction modularity and uh, uh, also uh, reducing the number of parts the brackets and fastness in order for the operator to be faster in the assembly of the car so 
you have less part, less complexity, and uh, quicker assembly of the car. Very good, Lee Han from Kerasoft. Thanks so yes. much for this presentation. No it's problem. excellent. Thank you. Bye.